What's up guys? Friday, made it to the gym. Fortunately, I'm tired. I apologize for my lack of footage lately. It's been a long week. What's up guys? Friday, made it to the gym. Fortunately, I'm tired. I apologize for my lack of footage lately. It's been a long week. Past couple weeks have really been wearing on me mentally and physically, so I just haven't really had the energy or really the drive to film. And if I'm on camera and I'm just like, nah, I, I don't want to give that to you guys. It's not, you know, what I want to do. It's not the content I want to put out. Um, so I apologize for the sporadicness of my footage and everything, but I'm gonna try my best to get back on the horse and start putting out better stuff for you guys. So. I'm um, doing legs today, so I'm going to take you through a full leg workout. I'm going to um, explain each of the exercises, why I'm doing them, how many reps, how many sets, everything. So I am now starting out probably four to five sets on the hamstring curl and the leg, uh, quad extension. Uh, just to get some good blood flow going, get the legs moving. We want to make sure everything's warmed up before we get into our main sets. So let's get after it. I'll check in with you guys in a second. So I'm starting off the quad extension, we are doing four sets of about 15 reps. Um, a couple of things that I like to think about with quad extension. You want to make sure your knee is lined up with the pivot point. All right? This is going to be a big thing with all machines, whether you're a bicep curl or a quad extension. Make sure your knee is lined up right with that pivot point. It's going to be the easiest on your joints. Um, I have the foot pad right basically on the front of your ankle. If it goes on your foot too far, uh, it's going to put a lot of stress in your foot. comes onto your shin, it's going to be uncomfortable. So, in front of where the ankle meets the tibia. Keep the same speed through the entire motion. A lot of people just kick it up and come right back down. Um, so, really focus on the squeeze and the contraction, especially when you're warming up. Oh, you are going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, while you do it. Okay. So with the hamstring curl, think about, again, with like quad extension, constant tension and constant speed. So, again, a lot of people I see will just whip that weight up and have no regard for controlling the weight. And especially with the warm-up guys, make sure that you're getting your muscles and your mind connected. That's the whole point of the warm-up is to get everything moving before your working sets. Now moving on to our first real working set, we're gonna start with the squat press right here. So we're probably gonna do one to two sets of just warm up, getting the getting the body moving with this specific movement, and then we into our working set. So uh, my hamstrings are feeling pretty pumped up. A lot of blood is definitely in there, uh, but it's important to note, guys, that your with your warm up, your muscles aren't gonna get tired per se. All right, they're just getting they're getting the blood flow. They're getting working. Um, a warm muscle is gonna be able to produce more force. So making sure that you're really, really warmed up is really important. So especially if your reps are up 15, 20, maybe 25, they are not gonna get tired for your working sets if they're down near eight, 10, 12 reps. So make sure to warm up accordingly. You should feel a little bit of a cramp in your muscles by the end of your work, uh, warm up sets. So Yami's starting off with a warm up set here. Let's get into it. So I think it's my second working set. On the squat press, notice my feet placement when I'm doing this. I usually tend to have a lower and more narrow stance on the squat press, on the leg press, anything, any movement like that, simply because I like to focus more on my quads. A big goal of mine during my bulk was to bring up my quads, and so I've just kind of stuck with it. It does make the movement a little bit harder than having your feet higher and wider, but that's fine with me. So we're doing four sets of ten on the squat press.
last working set. Five plates. Those legs though. Come on, baby. That pause, Joe. Oh. A couple things with the squat press. One, I never usually go super, super heavy. You see people load up like seven, eight, nine plates on each side and bust out reps, you know? And chances are, if they're doing that much weight, their reps aren't full. I would much rather opt for a full rep each time, get a really good stretch, really good contraction, really good range of motion with each rep instead of going up in the weight but compromising my form. Um, so I would encourage you to do the same thing. If you find yourself only going really maybe a little over halfway down, lighten up the weight, go all the way down, challenge yourself that way. Second thing about that is you saw me pause at the end. I got to eight reps, I was feeling good. And there's always a way you can make it exercise harder if you find out, if you feel halfway through the set, you're gonna get through your scheduled amount of reps fairly easy. So I got to eight reps, was feeling good. I slowed down those last two to make sure I got as most the most out of it as I can. So a um, couple tips for that swap press and any exercise in general, you can always make it harder. Now we're gonna start supersetting, pick up the pace a little bit. I think we're going to do good mornings and a quad-based exercise. So let's do it. If you don't do good mornings, you usually opt for like a Romanian deadlift, just inherently the same movement with that hip hinge uh, with a lot less risk of injury to that neck. But we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna make sure we're doing it correctly. And I'm gonna show you guys the form with Yami as my beautiful, look at those traps, my beautiful model. So she's gonna initiate the movement by driving her hips back, all right? This is a hamstring exercise, guys, not necessarily a lower back. So initiate the drive back with the hips, drop the chest forward, always keeping your weight back, squeeze the hamstrings and pull up. Good, nice and slow and controlled every single rep. Good, notice how that bar is on her shoulders, almost on her back, not on her neck, all right? That's where a lot of issues come in, is that bar will roll up onto her neck. And there's some woman moaning in the background it'll roll up onto the neck and cause a lot of strain on that cervical spine. So make sure, keep that weight nice and low on the back, on the shoulders, control the movement with the hamstrings. Good, nice flat back. Notice how her thoracic and her lumbar spine are nice and neutral using those hamstrings. So the only difference between a RDL and a good morning is where the weight is loaded. So a good morning, obviously it's up here. A RDL, it's down below the hips. So obviously um, where that weight is being, acting on the body is different. Booty dough. So, going to superset the good mornings with a heel to toe squat. So, heel to toe squat is going to be a quad dominant exercise, and it's actually a good way to help you get into a pistol squat. So those of you CrossFitters out there, more functional fitness people, um, it can be a good way if you are having trouble with your pistol squat to get into it. So a couple things to note, keep your weight back on your back foot. So when your feet are together, you wanna to drive those hips back, keep that weight back on that back foot and make sure to really use that back leg and emphasize that back quad. Um, keep that chest up nice and upright. I opted to use a barbell instead of dumbbell or anything else just because I already had it on my deck um, 
because you are already shifting back quite a bit, you might want to opt for a front-loaded option just because it can make it easier to balance because your stance is already going to be really, really narrow. So give it a shot, try different ways of loading up. Um, it can be a great way to develop quads. So last super set, we are doing GHD paired with some dumbbell lunges. Uh, so a couple things about the GHD. Obviously it's a hamstring dominant exercise. And the hamstrings, as I mentioned in a couple of my previous vlogs, have two main actions, extending the hip and flexing the knee. And this actually eats both of them, whereas most hamstring exercises are on a machine or something else, only hit one of them. This can really hit both of them. So focus on staying nice and tight and squeezing the hamstrings the entire time. Moving on to a hamstring curl on the ball versus on the GHD. It was bothering my back of my knee a little bit, which hasn't ever bothered my knee before. And I don't want to start having problems now. So basically, with the exercise ball, it works the same exact movement, both flexion of your knee and extension of the hip, uh, just in a different way. So you can always modify exercises if need be, if something's bothering you. So. Palms up, babe. <laughs> Dumbbell lunges. A couple things to note. Uh, keep your weight on your front foot. Drive. Drive to that front leg. That back leg should only be used as a balance or as like a kickstand. Use that front leg to really drive up and produce the movement. Uh, number two, come down all the way to the ground, slow and controlled. So don't slam that knee into the ground and don't go halfway down. You want to come down all the way. I see too many people do really heavy lunges, but their knee is still five, six inches off the ground. So come all the way down to the ground, controlled movement, use that glute. Use that glute. So finishing off right where we started, I'm going to do three sets of 20 to 25 reps on both the quad extension and the hamstring curl just to finish off and just to get as much blood to the area as possible. Just finished up the lifting, now on to a really short Metcon. I'm going to do an every minute on the minute workout today. So that means every time a new minute comes around, you restart whatever you're doing. So what am I doing, you ask? I'm doing this. Five dumbbell snatches on each side. So up, down, down for five. And then for the rest of the minute, I'm gonna jump rope. Every time a new minute comes around, I'm gonna restart the snatches. So um, obviously there's no real goal in mind. You're just trying to move as fast as you can. So the longer time you're jump roping, the better that means you're doing the snatches faster. You're getting more work done in the same amount of time, in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer here for 11 minutes so I have a minute to get started here get warmed up set the camera up and uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of my Metcon
Mal. Oh, hi, Lanta. Okay, lying down in the cold floor. <sighs> she got wrapped up in the jump rope. So that was the workout from hell. I don't know. Maybe I'll take up CrossFit again. It's a good workout. Probably not. You guys probably saw that Yami was doing some posing. Please comment below if you think she looks as amazing as I think she looks. Aww. But keep it clean. Keep it clean. I'm just kidding. She deserves so much recognition for all the hard work she's putting in. She is now, as of tomorrow, a week out from her competition. Yeah, some girls like, when competition? I was like, Dude. Crazy. I was like, nope. Wait, no. Eight days. <laughs> so a week from today, we will be down in Worcester, which is incredible. Holy finish up at the gym. It is 9.05. Really quick workout this morning. It's Saturday morning. Really good workout. I am up early on a Saturday because I just wanted to get a lot of stuff done before. I have quite a few things to take care of today. Uh, quick workout. I was literally there. I got there like 8.20 and now it's 9.05. You saw that was 9.12 on the clock, but this is seven minutes ahead. So it's 9.05. The workout was like 45 minutes. I only did four exercises. I did two chests, two triceps finished up with some abs and then 12 minutes on the Stairmaster going between 7 to level 7 to level 10 roughly um, and now I am on my way to the mechanic because when we got our car back the AC was not working and it was working be when we dropped it off but it is not anymore and so I have to have them check it out and at 1015 I have a appointment of sorts <clears throat> can't say it out loud but I have an appointment at 1015 about 15, 20 minutes away, so I need to make sure, hopefully they can look at the car right now just to see what's wrong with it and maybe, hopefully, maybe it's a little fix, I don't know. But, uh, so taking care of the car, then my appointment, and then heading home and spending most of the day with Yami. Um, she's at the works with my mom right now, posing, doing her cardio. She has no lifting, but she does have 80 minutes of cardio both today and tomorrow, so. She just went in with my mom this morning. I worked out alone really quick. Uh, got a really good sweat on, which feels good. Uh, update on my weight, 215.8, which is three pounds higher than my low weigh-in. But I feel really lean. I feel really good. And uh, so I'm not complaining. I'm really not worried about the scale. Um, I haven't been tracking like super, super accurate. I've been about 90% on, on point, I guess. So with that being said, I'm completely content with how I feel, how I look, you know, I'm, I'm not worried. And so, uh, heading to the mechanic now, I will check in with you guys a little bit. Just left the garage. Uh, he, he actually had me drop off the Envoy so I can look at it. They don't have time right now. I'm going to go run my errand and uh, go to my appointment. It is 9.30. Um, and this car has AC, which is so much better. It's so nice. So I think one of the best ways to drive in the summertime, and call me wasteful, I guess if that's the right word, but I have the AC on, which is awesome. It feels good, nice and cold. 
with the window open. I know it's like conflicting with the AC on and letting the cold out, but it's just a very nice mix of like fresh air and AC and I just really like it. So I don't know if any of you guys do the same thing with like a sunroof. I have a sunroof, I can probably open that as well. But just one of my one of the things I like, you know. Beautiful day out in New Hampshire. I think it's supposed to get to be like 85 today, which is insane. Twelve forty. We are going to pick up our car. We got a call saying that the car was done. We're gonna give up this loaner, baby. <laughs> we go grab our envoy. I don't know what they did, but they said it was done and there's no charge, which is pretty bomb. Yami's back with me now. She was with Mama for the morning. Cardio. Eighty minutes. Eighty minutes. It's blowing cold air. Mama's happy. Mama's happy. Yeah. Good. Don't give me no fucked up car. It's cold. Almost one o'clock. Stopped and got her some Starbucks. We just grabbed something out of the mailbox. <laughs> you guys see what that says? Who or it's from? Now see who it's to. That's to my mom. She ordered something from the. <laughs> <laughs> what? There she is. There she is. What did you get? Come here. Oh, I got us stuff. She got us stuff. I stuff. She Wait. got us stuff. What is it? Hold on. She got us stuff. Mom buying Hodge twin stuff. We created a monster. Oh, but this is covered. <laughs> because we're do whatever the fuck we wanna do. <laughs> she loved the shirt so much. We watched one of their eating That's challenges. That's amazing. And she loves them now. She loves. Oh them. my gosh! What's not to love? <laughs> Aww. Oh, she got us she all got shirts. She got us all shirts. Thanks, Mama. That's the best Mama ever. That's awesome. Well, I'll go as Twitter. Oh, I'm even large. So I think you guys have seen my front yard, but not yeah, under so these conditions. The blue skies, nice blue water, kind of blue water. It's just water. Front yard. So if any of you guys want to come to New Hampshire, you're more than welcome. Anyways, onto the first grilling of the season. That looks absolutely delicious. Got a five ounce chicken burger with two pieces of fabric cheese some mustard, ketchup, relish, and a little bit of low-fat mayonnaise on there. I'm going to enjoy the weather because I don't get out very often. I'm stuck inside a warehouse all freaking day during the week, so I'm going to enjoy this while I can. I have a three-day weekend so I don't have to work on Monday. So, come on, you want to come out? Come on, come on. Yeah! That girl can jump. So Yami needs to be distracted because she's really hungry, but it's depletion week and she's on depletion macros. So we started baking and I don't know what happened, but this is it. So what's going on here is there's cookie and there's a s'more, s'more in the center. So there's marshmallow on top, there's graham crackers, chocolate, and then the marshmallows. And then we topped it with a brownie batter. <laughs> Holy moly. I just, just like to bake. And I want to bake more. <laughs> oh, but the things are in there. Yeah, it's fine. We should probably take that out and put that in the bottom. Yeah, it's probably fine. You sure? Yeah, it should be fine. Because it's convection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to be clear, Yami's happy place is baking. She's not having any of this. She's kind of torturing herself, I think. But if it helps her be distracted because biggest thing for her is like not wanting to eat everything right now and if she's sitting around doing nothing and thinking about food I think she'd rather be making food instead of just sitting around and you know torturing herself not eating food I don't think that really makes sense but whatever helps her get through the next week or so so uh, we just put them in the oven they're in there and we got to figure out what to do with the rest of the cookie uh, cookie dough I'm such a baker. <laughs> so what we're doing here, you want to explain, babe? 
Yeah, we are stuffing these cookie cups with Nutella. Nutella. Plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, they're finished. But that's what they look like. Oh man. They're nice and soft. Look at all the side, and I think they're gonna be hard enough to hold everything in. So those are done. These ones are still cooking. They, they, those have quite a while longer. But let's show you guys. Probably, it says 712 right now. It's a timer, but probably longer than that. But there they are. And that is what the inside looks like. <laughs> just hardly cooked. And these just came out, which I believe are done. Hopefully are done. We'll cut into those in a little bit. <laughs> it's so messy. It's literally mess. Oh. It's water. It's all the chocolate. Because the brownie's cooked. Right, everything's cooked. It's just... <gasps> what do we do? Try it. What do we do?